Oh, yeah. Here's another classic for you. Super Metroid. Aw, oh, hell yeah. I remember this game from when I was a kid. And now we're talking about classic. We're going to do another full playthrough. I don't know exactly how long this one will take me, but who the fuck cares? I'm, I'm not exactly trying to go for records or anything like that. I'm just going for entertainment. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy. And I just realized something. Um, I think when you first start a new game, the controls are somewhat backwards. So. So now I'm afraid uh, what I may be used to will not be the way I want it to be. We'll see. <clears throat> I next fought the Metroids on their home world, SR388. I completely eradicated them, except for a larva. The chapter hashing with the father, a confused child. Yeah, so when I was a kid, I grew up uh, with the original Metroid. Um, I remember that being probably one of the first games uh, that we got when we first got our Nintendo, along with uh, Zelda and Mario and Duck Hunt. RBI Baseball, and, you know, and a whole bunch of other games. And then, of course, Super Nintendo came out, and then I remember I um, got this, and I, and I played the crap out of this. Just being so blown away by the, by the, by the brand new updated graphics and the giant monsters and all the power-ups. I never actually played uh, Metroid 2 until many, many years later. It's still a pretty good game, and I uh, and I heavily enjoyed uh, Metroid Prime, the uh, the first one anyway. Uh, I I never I played Metroid Prime two, but I didn't get to play uh, that much of it. Sierra Station was under attack, and for anybody who's at all curious to know, I briefly took a look at Metroid Other M. I don't like it. So, because, hey, I mean, who exactly likes the idea of, uh, of their hero uh, being portrayed as a 16-year-old girl with daddy issues? So okay, so in this case, uh, the shoot button is X, the jump is A, and I believe the run button is B. So it's a little backwards, uh, but I think I can get used to it. And it's funny, uh, this game still looks good to me. Uh, I'm playing it on the Wii, so just in case anybody's curious. I actually haven't played this game for a while, so... And actually, I was, uh, I was watching, um... Uh, Jeff and Jason, uh, when they did uh, their, their their classic full playthrough of this recently again, so obviously there was some inspiration there. Oh, it's Ridley! I would actually be curious to know uh, if I could. I'm actually curious to know uh, if I can beat this game in, uh, in, less, in less as many video playthroughs as they did, but who knows. Where are you going, bitch? Oh. I don't want it. I, mean, I want to hang out for, for a bit.
damn steam. Yeah, and so uh, I was actually going to say earlier, uh, the whole Metroid Other M thing, uh, I remember before uh, Metroid Other M came out, there were a lot of people talking about it, and um, and just from what I was hearing and then seeing, I, I really wasn't sure, and then hearing about uh, how they characterized Samus, uh, giving her a voice. Now, I don't think giving her a voice was a bad idea. It's just a lot of what they made her say and how they betrayed her. I mean, I mean, at one point they have her uh, apparently in combat for, for a cutscene. Uh, she sees a giant monster and she freezes up. You know, she basically panics and she freezes and then she lets like everybody around her die. And I was like, yeah, because. Yeah, because that's really how you want your hero betrayed. And I don't want to hear anybody claiming, like, oh, well, you know, this was a prequel, da 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 like, No, it's stated very clearly at the beginning of the game. This takes place after this game. After Metroid 3. So after Samus has been on her own for God knows how long. And from what I understand, the monster that, that she throws at was Ridley. Which makes no sense, because you think her... Uh, her first thing that she would say is, didn't I kill you already? Like, two times at this point? You know. You know, and there were people claiming like, oh, well, you just don't understand uh, the psychology of it. Really? Okay, then please explain to me since I don't know. You know, it's just, you know, one of those things which really pissed me off and... Well, and quite frankly, it obviously pissed a lot of people off because Metroid of the Ram was a huge failure and nobody liked it and there's obviously not going to be another Metroid game for a long time. And here's actually something interesting, something I never knew for the longest time. Uh, the Metroid series has not been a successful series, actually. Uh, every other Metroid game, aside from the Prime series, have been considered failures. Something I never knew for the longest time, and quite frankly, I was what? Come on, that can't be true. Nope, it, it's actually true. Uh, Metroid didn't become popular until the Prime series, and then, you know, they, they had a bit of a falling out, and then they tried to do something new, and... They gave the project over the over to Team Ninja, and they sexualized Samus a lot. Uh, a character up to that point that had never been sexualized, and turned her into a 16-year-old girl with daddy issues. Because clearly, that's a good idea. But anyway, enough of my uh, nerd gamer ranting. Let's get back to talking about this and playing this, because this is an awesome game. I don't remember exactly how long it took me when I, when I originally played this to beat it. Uh, I know I probably played it over a long period of time. It probably took me maybe some odd months uh, to beat this game when, when I was playing it as a kid. You know, because I had a life, you know, I had school, I had friends, I had family, I had other games I was playing at the time, too, and... Oh no, the space pirates! And here's uh, something else I actually wanted to say about uh, the Metroid Prime games. Uh, I remember w when we first heard about a new Metroid game at that point, that I remember basically the first thing that we heard uh, was that it was going to be uh, a first-person shooter style. And I remember thinking, how the hell is that going to work? Because you know, one of my first thoughts is, uh, was, man, it's going to be disorienting if you have to do something 
uh, you know, like the screw attack jump and, you know, and, uh, oh, right, 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 right. Uh, I haven't launched yet. Never mind. And, uh, you know, and to be doing flips and all that, but, and I know there was some sort of an original release date, but it got changed and, or delayed and then pushed back. Because originally it was supposed to come out on the N64. And I remember being very hesitant and thinking, like, how the hell am I going to do that? And, you know, and I was never against uh, first person shooters. Um, actually, really, I, I hadn't really even played that many first person shooters at this point. Uh, and then playing. Uh, Metroid Prime. I thought Metroid Prime was awesome. It was a great game. It looked great. Uh, the story was really good. The graphics looked great. Uh, the gameplay was, was a lot of fun and really cool. Really interesting. Apparently, uh, it gave the, the Metroid series uh, the huge boost that it that it needed and never really had, which was such a big shock to me that this game was not uh, as popular or successful as we thought it was. Happy to you. Them bombs. God, that is just classic. Open the door, Hal. You're not Hal. is actually uh, uh, kind of sad as that. I think this is really the only Metroid game I, I've actually beaten. All on my own. Without cheating or anything. Cheating is in you using passwords and such. But let me, let me check out this other room I couldn't get to, which I think is just a save area, isn't it? Yeah, it's a save. Oh well, might as well, right? No, there was another room too. Room down below I couldn't get to. Yeah, I'm gonna say something that sounds uh, uh, really nerdy. I don't know if you guys can see this. I always thought whenever Samus, you know, made that pose, you know, the face forward pose, I always thought that, that was really cool, really badass. Anyway. Moving on to the game. Back to the game. Thank you. 
With destiny! Did I just shoot through the floor? I ain't afraid of the dark. I don't think I can get there. I mean, I think I can get the first item. That's it. That was stupid. Just stupid. Oh, dude. Oh, shit. Somehow you can never get you can never get sick of that music. Now maybe other people can. Bitch. Yeah. 
Ich das so. I forget the name of this boss. Well, I'll be fair, I haven't played this game in a long fucking time. Classic controller. I'm, I'm noticing. Well, hell, I know. I was noticing that for, uh, for Super Punch Out, and well, I mean, really for, you know, for just about any classic game that you play with with this controller. You know, it's just not as accurate. It's weird. Oh, I mean, he, he's just about dead anyway. That's dignified. I have to wonder how hard it's going to be to, uh... to attempt to, uh... screw attacking gravity jump with this. Super Oh, that was dumb. I remember the jump button or the run button or whatever. Bang, bang, bang. Oh. 
I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Oh, yeah. Get the spacer early. I was actually wondering if I was going to be able to do that. Awesome. I have an advantage. Awesome. Awesome possum. Oh, fuck. That was just brilliant. Alright, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to work my way to Kraid and kill him. And then I will probably take a break. And I will see you guys for the next video after that. Ah, what the hell. Well, I know the high jump is down here, and I'm sure probably some additional missile tanks that I need from Norfair. I always love the elevator trips down, because it's just so badass to get to watch Samus in that pose. I don't think I can get through here, though. No. Not yet. Energy. Yeah. Oh, I can't move. I couldn't stand up all the way. I always thought that uh, those boots looked like that they had like uh, wings or a feather on them or something. You know, just kind of an odd sort of 80s um, uh, sci-fi fantasy movie uh, design, but still, pre still pretty cool. Oh, I have to kill him, don't I? I have to kill this last bad guy before I can move him. Come on. Okay, I got him. I think that's all I can do here. I mean, I know I can't go through that door because it's too hot. It's just too hot and spicy in there for me. All right, let's move on and let's go hunt down Creed. Kick his ass.
about you give me a super missile? You bastards. the missile refill thing is that it won't refill your super missiles. It's kind of lame because those are missiles too, aren't they? I mean, come on, man. I mean, why do you have to discriminate? Yeah, I always like that with the decomposing body and... Eh. I was gonna go rebuild my one super missile that I used. Just fine when I got cocky. Oh, you son of a bitch. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording here, but we will pick up, pick up next time with part two. I'll see you guys all then. Take care.